out last week, it was you know, a slow start with Duke and whatnot like, in the fourth quarter. Do you feel like you today wanted to come out fast and you know, ready to you know, just yeah. put that stuff on the board? Um, yeah, we emphasized that a lot this week, uh, start to finish, uh, coming out fast. Um, I feel like we did that. We came out first drive, scored. Um, but there was a couple possessions, obviously, penalties. Um, Beat you up when you're when we were freaking second and 40, 30 at some point. Um, Got to keep ourselves out of those situations. But at the end of the day, I mean, pass interference calls, holding on Casey when it's a close call. Um, but yeah, man, came out the fight and defense came up big too. You could have uh, Trey, you know, in the back of the big run. And yeah. Just I mean, when you just hit the ball off or throw a screen and they take it the long way. <laughs> it's the best. It's an easy job for me. Get my passing yards up a little bit. Um, but yeah, man. Offensive line came up big today on those screen plays. Um, real big. I know um, before the season, you had talk, we talked a little bit about you know, how Trey was trying to improve as a pass catcher. Yeah. How big was it to see him catch that ball and take it 80 yards You know, yeah. for his for his confidence in that aspect Yeah, he came up to me and he said, I need one more yard. I need one more yard. I guess he had 99 yards receiving. <laughs> um, but yeah, I man, I'm happy for him. He's a, he's a really hard worker. Um, he's a great team, man. I'm so thankful to have him uh, next to me all the time, man. Um, I mean, like I said before, you throw a screen and take it, whatever, 75, 80 yards, and it makes your job a lot easier. I'm very grateful for him. With you guys being 8-0, and um, talk about how, how it's just really important just to stick with just each and every week and not looking forward. Yeah, it's very important. Um, I feel like this team does a really, really, really good job at that. I mean... We take everything. We want to be one and zero, one and zero on the day. We take everything day by day. We don't take it week by week. It's kind of day by day. I mean, the good Lord wakes you up in the morning. I got to make the most of the opportunity. So Coach Norvella emphasizes that a lot, man. So I mean, I think this team is very, very mature when it comes to that. I mean, there's guys in here that's been here for four or five years and through a lot of ups and downs. So I think this team is very even held in our minds. Uh, locked in on a day in front of us. And the game in front of us. Does one you wonder do anything that surprises you? That one handed catch on the yeah. end. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot, I mean, whether it's in practice, um, on the game. Uh, I'm so happy for him, proud of him. I mean, he makes my job easy once again to throw the ball up. And the guys like that go make plays. Um, Wish on that one. That one, uh, we were going into, I don't know what that's called, the big board over there. Um, I threw the ball low. Yeah, I threw it low. I wish I kept it outside. I mean, it's a questionable call, but kind of got to give our guys a chance. Um, but yeah, man, I'm so grateful to have him. You had three receivers down. Um, you know, how do you think the other guys, some of you guys stepped up today? Yeah, um, Kentron, Darion, Ja'Kai made a big play today. Um, Kyle made a big play. So, I mean, I think Tron's play right there with that, where he mossed the guy was, was pretty special. Um, good to see for him. And it grows his confidence a lot. Um, he hasn't had a lot of opportunities this year, but I'm happy for him. There you go. Jared says that you guys haven't played a full 60 minutes yet. <laughs> I see I ain't played with you. <laughs> Jared says that you haven't played a full 60 minutes yet as a yeah. team. What happened in the third quarter today, and what has to be done to be able to kind of get to that that point now when you're playing that full 60 minutes? Yeah, man. I mean, at the end of the day, that's a D1 football team that's really talented. I mean, they haven't been – the record doesn't speak on – type of team that they are, a bunch of hard workers, but at the end of the day, they're going to stop us sometimes, and they're going to score sometimes. That's how football is. I mean, we want to eliminate that type of stuff, but at the end of the day, this is D1 football, I and mean, it's very hard to win college football games, and I feel like we did a much better job today playing from the start to finish. So what, Jordan, well, what were some strengths with your offense right now, and what are some things that you need to improve upon? Um, strengths, the offense a lot in our receiving, I mean, we have a lot of strengths, but we can improve on every part of our game. There's so much room for improvement. We haven't even reach close to our potential. So, um, what was it like Jordan? to see the crowd? Half the stadium was in Garnet at, yeah. at a road game. What, what was that? It felt like a bowl game. Almost. Yeah. What was, that? what was that like? I mean, it's so special. I mean, playing for Florida City is a blessing in itself, and our fans are the best. They're so supportive. Um, I mean, it makes it feel like a home game. I mean, it means more in the world. I mean, when you feel like you're at home, when you're not at home. We always say we're all we got, we're all we need, and we know we got our fans on our side all day long, so we're grateful for them. When it's, Jordan, Cole, when it's key on out one-on-one like that, or other, when the safety kind of skews in, is that an automatic, when they're playing soft coverage, I'm going to give it to four and make him make a play? Yeah. Let him make a play? Um, yeah, I mean, like I said before, I mean, one-on-one, Deion Coleman, I think it's disrespectful. Um, I mean, he's one of the, I mean, I would say the best receiver in college football. Today, and I'm glad he's on our side of the ball. Um, 
Yeah. Every time we get a one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, uh, I want to get him a chance. I got to give him a chance to put the ball up so he can go up and get it instead of low. I'm um, going to continue to grow with that, but yeah, man, I feel like it's disrespecting you have know, Coleman one-on-one -on -one with no safety. Numbers. So we all know that your legs are pretty lethal. Are you trying to be focused on more being a pocket passer? Um, I'm just doing whatever the game plan tells me to do. I'm not trying to do too much. I, I got 10 guys around me that are great players. So I got to trust the running backs, trust the receivers, trust the tight ends, trust the O-line. So, I mean, just trying to play within the game plan, go through my reads, and if everything's out there, you know, I mean, take off and run. On what was your working? mind when you saw off coverage with Keon to the field? I mean, what, you had to, I mean, you had to yeah. be like, what yeah. you think? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't really know what to think. I mean, I saw the safety fit in. Um, I saw one-on-one -on -one outside. I know if I got the ball out quick enough, you know, he's not going to tackle him one-on-one. But, yeah, I was pretty confused when I saw that. <laughs> on Tuesday, are you going to watch your college football playoff rankings at all? Like, or what's your, like, do you guys watch it all? Like, no. Nah. We're here just focus on the now. I mean, we're not worried about the future right now. We're, I told you, if the God, good Lord wakes us up in the morning and gives us opportunity, um, we're going to take advantage of that. So we're just taking it day by day, man. We're not really worried about rankings and all that stuff. We can't control that stuff. So control it, controllables, and just be ourselves. Now, you may have already been asked this question. Obviously, um, do you feel like you're playing, you've gotten healthier than you were against Clemson or Boston yeah. College? Do you feel like you're playing your best football season right now? Um, I don't think I'm playing my best football. I really don't. Um, there's so much room for improvement with me. I'm missing a couple throws. I feel like I went through my reads pretty good today, but I mean, there's always room for improvement, man. And I, I'm, I'm my biggest critic. Um, so there's time out there where I miss a throw and I come to the sideline. I might sell myself for a few seconds and I, I got to get back to the next play because at the end of the day, you can't control You can't go back and control the play that just happened. Um, I feel like my checks are pretty good going through my checks. I'm protecting myself every single time, but yeah, I can get a lot better. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.